Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this Streamlit tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a Streamlit image comparison application. So we're going to use this amazing new component called Streamlit image comparison component. What it does is it helps you create a component where it helps you create a UI component where you can slide this and then compare two images. This is quite popular, at least like very recently I saw this on an application called Web Compare where it compares between the Hubble telescope's picture and also James Webb Space Telescope's picture. So you've got two pictures, so you get to compare like the difference in quality of these two telescopes. And since I saw this application, I was really fascinated and um, thankfully, I got to see this application on the same um, day when I saw this application. So, um, so I thought, okay, why, why don't we build a streamlit application where we compare two images? First of all, let's thank the developer Fatih. Fatih, thank you so much for making this streamlit component and making it open source. So we're going to use this application. Uh, we are this using this streamlit package, um, which is also here a streamlit component. And we are going to create our own application, create our own streamlit application. And at the end of this video, we're going to deploy that application on Hugging Face Spaces so that you can share the link with everybody in this world um, internet. So first step is for you to install the application, install the Streamlit package, sorry, install the Python package on your machine. So wherever you are on, uh, whether it is Google Colab or whether you are on your Linux machine, Mac machine um, or Windows machine, just make sure that you install the right streamlit uh, this component the package which is available as a package once you're done with this the basic requirement is done so now i would open my vs code and then i have created a folder inside that folder i have got three uh, sorry two files this is downloaded by the application leave it so i've got two files one is the app.py file where we are going to define the application in itself second is the requirements.txt file so the requirements.txt file, we have got the base application, the main application, the main library, which is Streamlit, and also the component, which is Streamlit image comparison. So if you are going to deploy this on Hugging Face Spaces, these are the two packages that Hugging Face Space would install before your application could be run. So once this is sorted, the next thing that you need to do is you need to build your app.py, which is the actual Streamlit web application. The first step in this is import streamlit as st and from streamlit underscore image underscore comparison import image comparison so this is coming directly from the library um, which is which is the streamlit component so you can see import streamlit as st and also from streamlit image comparison import image comparison the next step is in any streamlit application we would do a little bit of page configuration setting so if you see this this actually goes directly um, on the on the tab so the the browser tab that you have got this is this is the title tag for that and you can say whether you want a centered layout or whether you want a wide layout now at this point you have set the page configuration next thing is you just directly have to go and create the component so first the title, the title is a uh, streamlit markdown southern um, nebula. I think it's called southern ring nebula. That's fine. Um, and then we need to select the images that we want to compare. For my particular application, I've selected the image directly from here, from this application. All these are public domain, public domain images, so you can use it. So I've selected uh, the nebula image and I've selected uh, the Hubble image. I've selected both the images here and then I've got the image URL. So you can, if you have got the images on your local computer, you can just give the image path. But if you have it on the internet, then you can give the image URL. So image one, so image comparison, image one, image two, the first image, and then the second image. And then you can also specify the label for the first image, label for the second image. In my case, the first image is Hubble, and the second image is James Webb's image. So I've got Hubble and then James Webb. And just adding one more image from there, I'm going to say this is Galaxy Cluster S Max 0723. And then I've got the first Hubble image, the second James Webb image, and then I've got the label, which says Hubble and then Web. At this point, our Streamlit application is really good, uh, looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the Streamlit application. I'm going to open the terminal. And once I open the terminal, I'm going to run the streamlit um, I'm going to run the streamlit app how am I going to run I'm going to simply say streamlit run app.py 
So just make sure when you're going to run this, you are inside the current folder, current working directory, because if you do not open your VS code as um, a folder, then you would not see this. Um, so just, just make sure that you are inside the current folder and then do streamlit run app.py. Once I run this, it is going to give me the URL where I can see the application. So at this point, you can see the application here and you can see Southern Nebula and uh, I can I can just go here and there and I can see the I can see the difference. You see uh, Hubble. So this is web Hubble. I can scroll and then I can see this is Hubble. And then this is web Hubble and web. And you, you basically get to compare both the images like this is quite useful when you're doing object detection, very nice, interesting way to present it. But you can use it in a lot of different contexts, like even when you're presenting your insights, um, you can have this slider, you, you can, the application is um, enormous and you can see it is made with Streamlit. So what we have done so far is we have learned, um, learned about this component Streamlit image comparison. We tried to create something that we found on the internet, which is, um, which is web compare, which compares the images from two different cell telescopes, Hub, Hub, Hubble and web. And then we have tried to do the same thing with Streamlit so far. And we validated it that it works very well with the local machine. Now what I'm going to show you is how you can take this code. Let me stop this, how you can take this code and then deploy it on hugging face spaces so that the web application, the Streamlit application is available on the internet for anybody to see and you can share the link with anybody. So first I'm going to go and then say hugging face spaces. I'm just searching it. And then once you come here, then you can, you can see your profile and inside the profile, click new space. After, for this, you should have logged in already. In my case, I've logged in already. Uh, if you have not logged in first login, and then if you, if you do not have an account first, create an account, it's free. And then if you have an account, you can log in after you log in, then just go click your profile. Like I did select a new space. Once you click new space, you can give the space name here. So we can say, um, Hubble JWST comparison compare and license, whatever license that you want to give. If you want to give MIT license, whatever license you want to give, you can select it. And inside the SDK, you have to say, what is the application that you're building? You have three options, streamlit, gradio and static, which is for static HTML pages. So streamlit is what we want. We want a public space and then click create. At this point, you would see something like this. There is no application file because your application file is quite empty. Your repository um, doesn't have anything. You can connect this to your Git and then pull pull the files from there. You have a lot of different ways to upload the, the code here, but I'm going to take the easiest option available, um, which is add file. So I'm going to say upload file first. Uh, I'm going to say create new and I'm going to call it requirements dot txt i'm going to go here click the requirements file copy it paste it here the first file is done the next thing is i'm going to say add a new file again create app.py and then i'm going to copy the app.py from here and then paste it okay we don't have a title let me add a title st dot title sorry st dot title james web versus Hubble telescope compare pic pictures. Okay, that looks good. Save it, copy it, come back here, paste it. So we have got the imports, we have got the configuration, we have got the title and everything else. I'm going to commit directly to the main branch. I mean, the, these, these are stunts performed by experts. Do not try at home. It's very similar like that. This is not the Git principle directly committing to the main, but you know, just this is af after all a YouTube video for you to see and learn how to use Streamlit um, component to compare images. And so, so just be mindful of it. So at this point, you can see that it is building. What does it mean? It means probably it's spinning up a Docker image with the py Python libraries that we want, and then it's going to deploy it. Once this is done, you're going to see I'm running. Uh, which means this application has been built and it is running click the link and then you can see the 
application running James Webb versus Hubble telescope pictures, so then Nebula, and then you can compare Webb, Hubble, and then you can again do it, Hubble, Webb, um, and you can, you know, slide and then compare completely. And you can also, you know, explain the difference, like how if you if you're interested in astronomy, um, then you can see how these stars, like the kind of details Webb can capture, that was not available with Hubble, it's, it's really mind mind blowing to see. But the point here is we learned how to use uh, the very new library or also a component called Streamlit Image Comparison. We built a Streamlit application that compares two images. We also learned how to add labels for them. And we also at the end learned how to deploy that Streamlit application on Hugging Face Spaces for completely free. If you are going to deploy it on Streamlit Cloud, if you're going to deploy it on your own server, completely free to do the the procedures and steps are going to be very similar if you hit any dependency issue please let me know in the comment section otherwise i hope this video was helpful to you in learning the new streamlit component which is streamlit image comparison and also learned how to create the streamlit application and how to deploy the streamlit application on hugging face spaces i hope you stay safe happy programming